All right, what are they supposed to do? Hello and welcome to The Deal Report. I'm Jeff Kanige. When GE set out to buy Alstom's energy business, its executives started quietly. CEO Jeff Immelt negotiated a deal with his French company's board and reached an agreement that both sides liked. That usually works. Friendly approach, friendly talks, friendly deal. Uh uh not this time. When the acquisition was announced, French politicians jumped in and declared that they were going to save the company from the Americans. It's still not clear whether GE can close its friendly deal. Now check out Pfizer's bid to buy AstraZeneca. As the deal's Jonathan Browdy reports, Pfizer CEO Ian Reid started by courting British officials. Then he unveiled his offer, the biggest ever for a UK target. And one that AstraZeneca's board rejected as too low, and mainly designed to help Pfizer cut its tax bill. That argument played well with the British public, and a Labour, Labour Party official, Chuka Amuna, took up the cause, asking sarcastically whether the deal was really good for the country since Pfizer was treating it like a tax haven. Taxes are taxes, and the British Treasury, at least, would be more than happy to serve as a haven for Pfizer's billions. So had Pfizer reached an agreement with AstraZeneca first, the politicians might have fallen into line. Should Reid gone about it differently? Eh, he probably had no choice, since about Pfizer's interest leaked out and forced him to go public. But he still finds himself in the same mess as GE. It's almost like you have to pay attention to every detail. And it's entirely possible that both, both deals will still get done. Right now, though, M. Elton Reid would probably just like to do business with people who think more like they do. In New York, this is Jeff Kanage for The Deal.